Hello guys, welcome back to yet another interesting video. So today in this video, we'll be comparing Nothing OS 3.0 with that of Nothing OS 2. I've been using Nothing OS 3.0 on my Nothing Phone 2A and in this video, we'll do a detailed comparison about all the changes, new features and more. And you guys let us know according to you, what do you like on Nothing OS 3 and what was better on Nothing OS 2. So now without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have two phones towards the left hand side, this is my Nothing Phone 2 and towards the right hand side, this is my Nothing Phone 2A. Here you can see Nothing Phone 2A is running nothing os 3.0 based on android 15 and towards the left hand side this device is running nothing os 2.6 based on android 14 and now before moving ahead guys if you like a content and if you find it useful for you guys then make sure to smash the like button and also consider subscribing to our channel so first let's start with the boot animation and the boot animation which is currently present on nothing os 3.0 i feel that will be the final boot animation there won't be any kind of changes because nothing is introducing nothing dot animation in many places and that we'll talk about in the later part of the video but according to you guys what do you think the new boot animation is better or the previous one and also guys nothing is bringing the new font you can see which replaces the nothing dot fonts you can see here in the settings page and the same change have been introduced in most of the sub settings also and here you can take a look at the always on display this is how it will look we have different clock styles with nothing os 3.0 but the current build which I'm running on my Nothing Phone 2A, here we only have one clock style which is this. You can see here also they have replaced the dotted font in the clock, day, date and even with the weather application. And also if you see here towards the bottom side, the battery percentage font have also been changed from dotted. More clock styles will be added very soon with the upcoming builds. This is the first close beta build so they have only added one clock style. They'll be adding more clock styles what Nothing have mentioned and here if you see if you long press on the lock screen you do get an option to customize the lock screen but you'll see the similar stuff what you have been seeing on Nothing OS 2.6 because they haven't changed much in the customize section. We'll talk about customization section also later but on the clock style we'll also have a new option of expanded widgets where you'll get extra space to add more widgets. That is also not present on this current build. And also if you see here talking about the keypad here also it got revamped before we used to see numbers in the circle but now that have been removed we have a plain background and whenever you tap on the numbers you have this colorful pill which wasn't the case before and from here also they have removed the dotted font and now talking about the fingerprint animation so that also got changed with nothing os 3.0 now nothing have added the dotted animation while unlocking the device using fingerprint and the same dotted animation will be added to charging animation so whenever you'll connect your device to charger you'll see that dotted animation going from bottom side to top on the home screen till now there are no changes and nothing have been mentioned by nothing team regarding the upcoming changes on the home screen but there's a major change done in the control center so with a single swipe you can see now for the notification we have ample amount of space previously this space was not that much and one major change which i personally feel would have been done long back and that's the removal of this black background from the quick setting tiles now according to the theme you have selected the quick setting tiles also adapts the same thing right now i'm using the light theme you can see we have a light theme here and the same thing i'm using on nothing os 2.6 still we used to see the black background and if you see in the status bar there also they have replaced the font of clock and also they have added a nice style which lets you change the ringing modes previously also we had the same tile the functionality was same but now they have given a fresh look to this style. Another change what they have added and that's the ability to resize the quick setting tiles. So here you can see we have an icon towards the bottom side tapping on it. You can resize any of the quick setting tile present here. We do have three different shapes. So one is the circular one, then the expanded version and then we have this square shape quick setting tile. Wherein previously we had no option to resize the quick setting tiles. Also if you see on nothing OS 2.6 we had the text of reset but now we have an icon towards the bottom side which lets you reset the entire quick setting tiles and also if you long press on any of the quick setting tile you can see a nice layout with this square shape boxes another major change in the quick setting tiles is the brightness slider previously you can see it was on the top side i mean in between the quick setting tiles but now it has been moved towards the bottom side and they have finally added the auto brightness toggle so if you see the icon towards the left side Tapping on it, you can trigger auto brightness and again tapping on it will disable the auto brightness. In terms of notification, nothing got changed. We have the similar type notifications pop up. Now let's talk about the customization options. So going to customizations, as I told you guys, currently they haven't added any clock style. The default clock style which is available and that's this one. With the upcoming updates, nothing will be adding another four clock styles. And for the home screen, they have added this reset option which wasn't present previously. So if you want to get back the default home screen, you can just tap on this reset icon 
and you'll be easily able to reset the entire home screen to the default one. Other than that, I did not see any kind of changes even in the colors. I have applied the same wallpaper and we have the similar color palettes on both the OS currently. And the same thing goes in the basic colors also. So now let's talk about the widgets. So here nothing is introducing a new widget called countdown widget, which will help you track important dates like birthday and more. Also the progress bar fills up as per the time set, eventually turning into red when arrives. Currently that is not available on the first build, hoping to get that with the first open beta. And now if you want to apply any widget, instead of dragging and dropping on the home screen, now we have an option to add the widget. So soon you tap on the widget, you can see an add option which wasn't available previously. And with the upcoming updates, you'll also have an option to share the widget with your friends. You can share any widget, for example, step counter to motivate your friend. And you'll also be able to interact with the shared photos or widgets with emojis. Currently, that's not available right now. But with the upcoming updates, that will be coming to nothing OS 3.0. Now let's move on to the app drawer. So on this build, there are no changes. You can see almost everything looks similar. Tapping on these three dots, we have the same stuff. But with the upcoming update, nothing will be introducing a smart drawer like Apple's app drawer. And we will have an option to select between normal app drawer and the smart app drawer. Along with that, they'll also be adding an option to pin the applications on the top side. Like how you see suggested applications now, but these are based on your usage pattern. But if you want to manually add the application, you'll have an option to add that or you can say pin that. You just have to long press on the application. You'll get an option to pin the application on the top and that's it, that application will be displayed on the top side of app drawer. And see, many people have been asking for applications like nothing gallery, nothing notes and even nothing dialer. So we are not sure about nothing dialer or nothing notes application, but nothing gallery application is coming soon. Currently on this build, it's not available, but nothing have already announced it, which will be coming with upcoming updates and it will be also more optimized for better user experience. As per nothing, Thing, they say the transition between the camera app and nothing gallery app will be 1.4 seconds faster and the processing time will be 25% faster when you click the photos like HDR or more. In future, they'll also be bringing things like AI image categorization, AI upscaling and AI super resolution, which will provide you better picture quality even when you zoom in the photos. Then in the weather application, nothing will also be adding new dotted animation, which I mentioned previously. So that is also currently not available here, wherein you'll also have the ability to change the previews and that dotted animation might also have the dynamic look. So according to the weather conditions, you'll see the changes in the dotted animation. And at last, we have the completely revamped setting section. So this is how the settings page looked before and after. Previously, we had these two settings in the box shape, but now they have properly segregated. You can see network settings are in a different section and that also have a separation. Customization settings with a different section and other settings in different one. Also, you'll get some Android 15 features like device diagnosis, which lets you know the component health where you can perform manual tests like display test and the touch test. Later on, you have the component status where you can check the status of your battery, how many cycles the device have been charged and discharged. Then you have the storage status and there's another option called evaluation mode. So here you can use one device to evaluate the other device. So if any issue on your friend's device, that can be evaluated from another nothing phone. I'm not 100% sure whether they'll be coming with nothing OS 3.0 or not. So guys, these are all the changes between nothing OS 2 and nothing OS 3.0. Let me know according to you guys, which change shouldn't have been done on nothing OS 3.0. As of now, only this much in this video. This is a friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.